All right, I think I'm gonna give this another shot. Let's do Lilith with the bat gun. Full summon, try and do my best. I'm really curious about quick play mode, but I think I'll do that if I need filler. Small, small enemies spawn more often. Uh, that sounds really bad or good. We'll see what happens. All right, uh, but so all of my weapons and my like little summon ghosties do, uh, do damage based on summons. So we wanna grab as many summons as possible. Dragon's gonna be pretty big. Uh, the actual summoned ghost should be pretty big. Uh, and then beyond that, I don't know, big question marks. We also wanna just grab as much meta progression as I possibly can. Oh, this character has like no AoEs and no passive damage, which is going to be a bit of an issue. Pretty tough. Alright, there we go. There's something. Uh, Dragon Egg. I, I have to do Dragon Egg as early as possible. Because that gives us multiple minutes, uh, like a multiple minute head start. Uh, but maybe I should have gone Ghost Friend. Oh well. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be maybe fine. It's not going to be fine. I'm probably going to lose. Like, the dragon is a trap. It's a trap that's worth it, but if you can't, uh, if you can't back it up, you're in trouble. Because, yeah, I need trained to dragon. I just... Not right now. I should have gone with the, uh, the actual ghost friend upgrade. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's give up on this one. I probably should have just kind of pushed it, but we have to get the dragon egg, egg like second or third. Otherwise, I'm just not going to be able to level up fast enough and I'm just going to die. Uh, I, a lot of this boils down to the bat gun is not exactly the strongest gun early on. Later, it's going to be probably pretty banger, but for now, it's a little on the rough side. Okay, because yeah, I don't have the, the bolt gun you know, raw damage or pierce. You know, I have two projectiles that don't do a lot of damage here. And that makes this whole business much harder to work around. Well, I'll make do or something. A little bit of AoE would go a very long way. Here we go. At least we have the killer ghost friends. Uh, let's see, so light weaponry. It's not perfect, but it's passive damage and is pretty good, actually. I think the only immediate problem is it's not, it doesn't actually do that much damage. I think it scales based off of whatever my weapon damage is. And so because this is not a particularly strong gun, it's not gonna do too much, but it's still a hell of a lot better than what I had. Summon damage or dragon egg. Now I gotta go for the dragon egg, I think. Let's see. I'm gonna try and bait the explode dude, explodey dude, into blowing up on me, but I think not. I think to some degree, I kind of want to just let my dagger do its dark business. It works mostly because my actual gunfire itself only kind of useful. Okay. Gotta get in here. Uh, what do we grab next? Quick hands, glare. Glare's kind of good, because again, bonus damage. Sure. It's an AoE. It doesn't do that much damage, but considering I, I'm gonna be spending an amount of time just running away and kind of skimming foes, it seems like it's worth it. Alright, next up, Age Dragon. Yeah, I gotta. Some degree. Wish I could defer it, but that's... That's potentially, like, tons of damage. Towards the end of the run. And who knows, maybe the dragon's not actually that good. But considering it confers damage bonuses to me, that seems very helpful. Same thing with Trained Dragon.
Here we go. Ow. That wasn't perfect. Oop. One of those guys was hiding behind a tree. Okay. Let's sneak up in here. Grab what we can. I'll heal at some point, but for now we want Ghost Friend. I like to up summon damage, but I'd rather have multiple summons. More damage sources that just kind of do their thing. And, like, Ghost Friend is probably better than the dagger, I, I think. I'm not entirely sure on that one. There we go. Okay, so what do we grab next? I'm gonna grab Vitality. Uh, considering I've taken a hit and I'd like to grab the healing. I didn't see anything else on that, that list that felt particularly incredible. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep scooting for the EXP more so than anything else. Some pickup range wouldn't be a bad idea. Increase bullet damage and fire rate by 50% when you take hit. A hit. Eh. Frost Mage. Eh. Take aim. Power shot. Bullet damage. Because rubber bullets could actually be really interesting with this. But I might want to grab these. Yeah, let's go for raw damage for the moment. Not that it accounts for too much damage at the moment, but it will. Because since my bullets count as summons, summon damage bonuses uh, apply. Which means hopefully by the end of this, I'll actually be doing more damage with this gun than with the crossbow. I think. I hope. Alright. And I think we're getting pretty close to the dragon popping. Which is good, because that'll be a nice bonus source of damage for me on top of everything else. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go for the kills, but... Right now, I want to grab as much EXP as I possibly can. So what do we do? Uh, bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon's damage. That should be kind of good. The scythe would be good. Summon attack speed plus 50%. Or just magnetism. I don't know. Let's go with summon damage. I think that speeds up the knife, too. And also boost the dragon that just hatched. Which is exactly what I was hoping for. There we go. This is this is feeling a lot better now. Alright, now what? Uh splinter? Actually, yes. Because now enemies explode into small homing pellets. They don't do that much damage, but it's still more. I think my dragon does like 50 damage, by the way. Oh boy. I don't want to be here. Unfortunately, because of all of this, uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble corralling my enemies, but that's okay. Summon damage up, summon attack speed up, ghost friend now shoots to where you're aiming. Uh, it's worth it. Okay, moves in speed for a second. Uh, sure? Yeah, so I move faster when enemies are killed. Not the best. But I'll take it. Alright. So now, we, now we've now we got a, a fairly solid ca kind of cascade... Mur Ow. Murder run. I just have to actually pay attention to where my enemies are. Which, you know... Shouldn't actually be that hard considering I've got homing shots. But, I don't know. Anyway, well, there that goes. That is satisfying. Intense glare. Which actually... Vision range up. Glare damage up. I like that. I'm curious about the burn, though. Because I'm thinking, with all those little scaling shots, that could work. 
Otherwise, glare. I don't know. I think I'm going to go for the intense glare. Give me kind of that bonus AoE. Ow. Shoot. There we go. I, I don't know why I shoot. It doesn't actually strike me as necessary. I think the unfortunate part that I'm dealing with here is I can't quite see where half of my enemies are because there's a lot more going on on the screen. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, there's a lot more visual noise with that kind of build. Uh, do we want to try it again? No, let's... Hmm. Let's spend some meta progression. That's the real answer. Uh, I'd quit the menu. I could also try a completely different build. Because I think that one was good, but I, I think I just... I don't know thrown me off a bit. Oh. Well, do we want to just try a different character? Let's try a different combo. I probably should have used some of that on runes, but whatever. Uh, let's see, vision range and pickup. Let's see. Yeah, healing would be pretty good, but later. really know it it feels like uh just investing hard into vigilance doesn't isn't the worst idea vision range and pickup radius by fit three percent per upgrade up to 15 percent that should be good maybe not that amazing but should still be pretty good all right let's try and go for like a, a spitfire build i'm gonna actually need movement speed on this one though There we go. Ooh, moving speed and reload. But yeah, I'm gonna be just absolutely blasting lightning with every uh with every other shot. But since I'm firing two bullets, it's more or less every shot. There we go. Well It's effective. I'll give it that. There we go. So now we want things like bullet ricochet and reload speed. I could do double shot for even more goof. However, we're going to go Electro Mage. Since, you know, that's a flat damage and a fair bit more than what I'm currently doing. Uh, let's see, Electro Bug. Eh, it's okay. Let's grab Magnetism. There we go. I really want to do a glare build at some point. My big fear is that I don't think it's going to scale and damage particularly well. Uh, let's see. So, Frost Mage might not actually be a bad idea. Like, the burning would be nice. Ghost Friend, no. Oh, but we want quick hands. So the reason why I'd want Frost Mage is largely for just keeping enemies off of me, but I don't actually know how viable that's going to be. Ooh. Okay, we really could use some movement speed, and I'm not seeing any. Let's go with that. There we go. I, I do a ton of damage. It's when I'm reloading, that's when I'm hyper vulnerable. So if I can get that reload speed really low, I'll be a happy camper. And yeah, we might want stuff like Ricochet, obviously Pierce, and a couple other things. Okay, so take aim, no. Rapid fire. incredibly helpful and yeah I should probably remember I should probably remember to reload actively as opposed to you know just when I run out of juice 
All right. I mean, this is working. Let's grab. Let's grab rubber bullets. Just to really scale this up a little bit. Oh boy. I guess one thing to note is instead of shooting the enemies behind me, I should be shooting the enemies in my way. I say, as I can't really easily do that. Kill clip. Reload rate for every enemy killed. Yep, that sounds pretty perfect for me. Okay, yeah, we want to just be full bullet hose here. If I can. Grab it. Grab all of it. I'm glad we have that extra pickup radius. That's helping. Magic lens. Glare, light weaponry, or take aim. Take aim does give us penetration. We just have to get there. Okay, nope. Unfortunately, the lightning is not the best at clearing the path for me. It just kind of does whatever it wants. Which is mostly fine. Okay. This game is a little stressful. Unlike most bullet heavens where you get HP back kind of freely, this is like the one where you don't. You really have to be careful. And if you're not, you die. Okay, Electro Bug isn't the worst idea, but we want to go Penetration. There we go. I don't do a whole lot of damage here. Whoop. And I'm kind of making it work. But it's not that easy. Bullet speed, bullet damage, power shot, cross mage, recharge, or this. Maybe at this point, now that I've got Ricochet and Pierce and whatnot, we grab the freeze just to lock down enemies a little better. Yeah. It's not perfect, but I'll take it. Uh, reduce bullet damage, extra lightning damage. Sure. Still nice little net positive of a sort. Ooh. There we go. Let's see, double shot? Absolutely. Ow. Didn't work. I was hoping I could clear a clear a path. Unfortunately, I think a lot of it boils down to lightning. Uh, the lightning shoots whatever? What? Oh, wait. Did I get hit by the, like, deer boss's electro barrier? Did it spawn on top of me? I think it did. Ah, uh, well, you know what? Whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep investing in vigilance for the time being. I should probably look into some of these. So after inflicting freezer burn 50 times, gain invincibility for a little while, eh. Eh. Knock back enemies after reloading. Huh. After shooting your last ammo, deal damage to all nearby enemies. This damage is equal to 20% of your bullet damage per rank. That would be really good. With the, uh, with the crossbow. Let's see, summon a glyph every 10 seconds, explodes into bullets. And some of these seem like they'd be pretty dang ridiculous. 
Let's see. Every 50 kills, gun enters an ethereal state. Every third shot has infinite piercing and double bullet size. That might actually be worth saving up. Oh, and it does even more damage. So yeah, just getting that once wouldn't be a bad idea. But, uh, let's see, what do we do? I have no money, so I think the dual SMGs worked. But maybe we try that with Scarlet. The lightning was good, but it had its limitations. I'm curious about Hina. Yeah, let's, let's try Wave of Fire. Yeah, that should work. So th this gives me the much needed AoE that we needed. I think the lightning gun with the SMG, or the lightning girl with the SMG. I think actually all the characters are just ladies, but whatever. Um, there we go. I think the uh, lightning setup with the SMGs is also good. I just needed a little bit more movement speed and maybe something else. I think the quad shot was actually like a really good idea. It just didn't quite work out for me. Okay, what do we want to do here? Pyromage. Because I think you can stack burning damage on enemies. I think when I was playing the demo, we had that somewhat conclusively. Okay, dragon, no. Shield, no. Vitality, I guess? Oh yeah, especially because I only start with uh, 2 HP. That's rough to deal with no matter what you do. There we go. Now we might still want to consider getting the thunder move. And doing effect... And yeah, we might want to just consider doing the same build that we did last time. To some degree. There we go. Yeah, just having these these fire waves to just pelt out and cook my chasers. Seems like a good idea. Uh, let's see. Power shot. Power shot. There we go. God, keep distance. And yeah, if we can get access to the double shot, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. I don't think that gives us more procs on the fire wave. But that's okay. I think the only way we're going to get more of that is with just hefty reload speed and attack speed. And not much else. Well, there's double shot. Perfect. Yeah, I don't actually mind them kind of having errant sweep. It works out, though I, I'm definitely missing that pickup radius. we had managed to get the last time. Oh, baby. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to kind of cut and run back. I'm just gonna let him gather. I do, I do a ton of damage in a line. And so I might as well just corral. There we go. So what do we got? Fanfire, last ammo? No. Split fire, bullet behind you. Splinter. Or just raw fire rate. Or magnetism. Let's just go with magnetism. I kind of wish it, uh, magnetism was just based on sight radius or something. You know, you can pick up anything that you can currently see. But, alas, doesn't seem to work that way. I know there's ways to increase the pickup range further, and those usually come with line of sight bonuses. Oh, no, vision range also zoomed the camera out more. Now, that'd be pretty beautiful. Electromage. It's not the most necessary, 
But it's a lot of bonus damage that can carry me pretty far. Unfortunately, the uh, the pickup reload is not as us useful, but the extra pickup range still is going to be kind of lovely. I'm getting chased around here. Means I don't have to risk as much. Uh, let's see, rapid fire. Rapid fire. Because yeah, I just want to pelt shots out behind me. Okay, avoid. Did I kill the boss? I must have. Oh, look at all this EXP. Oh, let's see. I still don't really want that. When lightning strikes an enemy, 20% chance to refill three of your ammo. I mean, yeah, sure. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let them corral. And every once in a while. Let's see, bullet damage and fire rate when you get hit? No. Light bullets, fire rate, bullet speed, max ammo. Or this. I don't know. No, let's just go with that. Okay, so where'd the boss die? It's over here somewhere. There it is. Let's hope we get something really cool out of that. Burning lasts twice as long. Well, that's incredibly good. Alright, so now everything burns and I should invest harder in this. Let's grab light bullets just because. Oh. Yeah, I almost wonder... The, like, AOE, or the AOE, the line. The Electro line, as the deer boss spawns in, uh, it, like, twitches out for a hot second. I'm really curious if it actually, uh... Let's see. There we go. All lightning damage increased by 12. Increased lightning area of effect. Or bonus burn damage. Both of those are great. I'm gonna go for the Electro Mastery for the time being, just because the flat damage is good. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I gotta kill him. But it's tough. Given the circumstances. Uh, let's see. Okay. That's pretty eh. Go with that. Oh, did we, did we kill the boss? Nope. Now I think we killed the boss. Whew. Yeah, I need the ability to shoot on the run. There it is. Okay, and I'm not even sure if this is going to be worth it. Bull bounce might not be a bad idea. Home of rage. Fire rate, spread, bullet damage, knockback, triple your... I feel like rage. There we go. Okay, intense burn. The bounce might not be a bad idea, but burn damage is now going to be kind of my main source of damage. We might also want to invest into knockback. just to keep enemies off of me. Because I go full hose here. For better or worse? What? 
Oh, I was picking up small amounts of ammo and it was resetting the reload. Other problem is I'm down to very little HP. Which is an issue. It was harder, suckers. Okay. Grab all this business. I think I need to save up for that healing perk. Because otherwise, uh, I'm going to be in trouble. Because there's just no reliable healing here. Oh, we do want the other one. Or do we just go with this? No. That's a bad idea. Let's go haste. We want the ones where I do bonus damage based on when I get hit. I usually skip that one, or, you know, mentally I skip it. Ooh. Damn it. Yeah, unfortunately, not enough stopping power. I think if I invested in... Uh... If I invested into knockback, I would have had an okay shot on that one, but alas. I also haven't tried the flame cannon yet. I still feel like the SMGs are actually really good. But maybe the flame cannon. More fire? Yeah, maybe more fire. I don't know. Uh, otherwise, we could do fire plus lightning. Nah, more fire. Let's see what happens. Let's throw it on quick play and see how that goes. It's probably going to get me killed, but you never know. Uh, namely, also, I just don't want to be here for like an hour for the episode. I would just get a little uh, repetitive. Yeah, so unfortunately, the flame cannon does not have a pierce. Almost makes me wonder if the SMG was actually the better idea. I mean, it certainly burns a lot of enemies. I think the other thing I needed, and will consistently always need, is... Uh, let's see. Needed and consistently will always need is just movement. The I don't think I saw the movement perk go by much on that last run. Let's see. And I kind of needed it that big of a deal. There's the movement perk. Yeah, I think that has to be the number one. Because the we specifically want the one where I, um, I get bonus walking speed. Because as odd as that sounds, being, I mean, being able to shoot while moving at an actually decent pace uh, should save me a tremendous amount of pain. I hope. Because normally I just get surrounded and I can't, like, clear distance very well. Uh, let's see. Bullets have a chance to... Blazing speed. There we go. I'm really curious about a totally passive run. You know, summons, running, burning, and glare. Like, really heavy glare. There's running gun. Wow, that, uh... Okay, no, that does help. There we go. It initially seemed kind of mediocre, but now it feels a lot better. I think I was still kind of locked on the previous speed. I don't know, man. I'm just, just going, I'm just doing, I'm trying very hard not to explode here. Uh, magnetism? Yeah. I'm spending too much time trying to get, get this EXP when I need to be, I need to be killing.
let's just kind of scoot through best as possible uh, let's see increase bullet damage and movement speed by 10% every 10 seconds sure it resets when I take damage but I ideally won't I will but ideally I won't take too much okay grab that let's grab pyromage because that's on top and I wanted to take a look frostbire so intense burn plus frostbite when you inflict freeze also burn that seems genuinely useful In retrospect, moving up and down is not actually the best idea. It gives me way less time to specifically react. There we go. I definitely feel a lot more confident in my ability to fight. With all this extra movement speed. Normally I'm, I'm kind of getting harried, but now I'm running circles around them. Uh, I'm just going to do split fire for a little bit of extra... something. It'll spread the damage, it's not going to be huge. But my goal is not, uh, not necessarily... Well, I don't know. I guess it's mostly I'm, I'm just trying to cover my bases as much as possible, set as many things on fire as I can, and not get surrounded. Because this game really likes to surround you. Week through. I'm whistling in a bit. It's fine. I'd like to cut through the center of this. And grab some of that EXP, but that's tough. Fourth shot, fireball 40 damage, burn to enemies. Cool. Sounds great. Grab this. Burn lasts twice as long. Take it. Now, if I could increase the tick rate on burn. I don't think I've seen any perks that let me do that, though. Okay. I'm very glad EXP does not disappear in this one. At least, to my knowledge, it doesn't. Okay. Intense burn? Yes. Because that's, that's the thing we need for the synergy. Let's just cut right through. Yeah, so our goal here is to actually do as little, like, immediate damage as possible. Because uh, my burn my burn damage is not affected by, uh, by bullet damage in the slightest. So, goal is really just rely on that to some degree. It might not be a bad idea to invest into knockback all the same. Let's see. So, watch and learn. Pick up radius vision range. That wouldn't be the worst, but no, let's grab Frost Mage. Okay, now I should actually be able to walk circles around Deersley here. There we go. I was getting corralled in a bad way. For a hot second. Yeah, I'm fast enough that I can kind of just scoot through. You know, I'm almost always gone by the time he's... He's charging, so I don't have to worry as badly on this one. How much damage is he taking per burn? I have a lot. I think that's one of the fastest kills I've ever gotten on him. Bullet damage, bullet size, piercing. Reduces my fire rate, max HP, or bullet bounce. Does hurt my max HP? Oh no. <laughs> I, that didn't work. Uh, let's go down to main menu. I mean, all things considered, that was a fun run. Uh, I just hurt real bad. Alright, so let's take a look at runes. I'm curious about getting healing, but that's every 1500th enemy. I don't know how many enemies I kill. 
heal 1 HP every 5th level, gain up to 20% more EXP. Growth actually might be just as viable, if not better. I mean, Cadence... Can I, can I even get some of these? I guess let's try. No, it won't let me. So maybe, maybe I have to invest in, in these to unlock this rank. Good to know. Let's see. Knock back enemies after reloading. So that's tough because that means I really need to invest resources into, into this to even have a chance at some of these. At least the, f the better I get at this game and the more I clear, the faster I'm going to level this up. Which is a huge plus. I guess I might as well invest into Courage. Oh yeah, I might be able to get up to rank 10 plus rather quickly with this method. But reload rate plus 2% per rank. Obviously that only gets me up to 10%, but still 10% ain't bad. Either way, I think this is a good stopping point for now. Obviously it did not get far, but I, I'm not going to do the crossbow busted run constantly. Uh, but we did actually see a fair bit of really solid potential runs. I just have to master them. So for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.